In Dublin, Jack's Army completed their tour of duty for World Cup 94 with the usual panache and style. Hoarse voices roaring and anxious faces following every twist and turn of the nerve-wracking game. Whoops, what's this then? An empty pub in the midst of the chaos. This was Ryan's of Park Gate Street at five o'clock. Not a TV set or a radio in the house and not a customer either. We've never had television here and uh, it's an old traditional bar and we decided to keep it that way. Uh. Back to the action and a quick analysis of these halftime faces revealed all. The most surprising result of the night was that supporters at this venue were still speaking to each other afterwards. The Dutch contingent, many of them with Irish spouses, watched the game at the Dutch company Philips in Tlonski and had mixed feelings afterwards. They were just lucky. You happy? They were better. A couple of lucky players, you know. We're getting divorced later on. We just put the paperwork up to They may have lost, but in Galway, the Irish team were still the real winners. Wonderful Ireland, Pumpkin McGrath is just massive. Yay! And I reckon we should have won. We had loads of chances, and we lost most of our chances. We just showed the second half what we can do. We put our minds out of it, you know. We did it from the start, possibly probably got the result. Oh, it's heartbreaking. It's a killer, but um, I'm sure once I form up after a while, I'll go out celebrating with everybody else. In France, next year, in 1998, and I've been here to support Paul, and they're going to win the World Cup. And in Waterford, Jack's army were ecstatic, even in defeat. Brilliant, I enjoyed it immensely. Which one of us were better? They did us proud and they did us well, and we're proud to be here. Okay. Yes. Oh, I was very unlucky what happened there, you know what I mean? But we gave away two soft balls in the first half. If we had to play the first half, we would play the second half. I think the outcome would be better.